Flosstube. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Karen and I'm Sassnack Stitcher and today is Tuesday the 12th of November. Welcome back to everybody that's returning and welcome to all my new subscribers. It's really nice to know that you're all out there. Thank you for all the likes and all the comments. Really, I read every one of them and really appreciate them. And I, I reply back when I can. Um, anybody that's been following me on Instagram might have noticed that I've actually changed the name. Um, the, my Instagram used to be my pers just my personal one that I put all sorts on. And it was under my, my own name. So I've I've actually changed it to Sassanac Stitcher. I just thought it would be a bit easier, a bit simpler for people to find me, really. So that's what I've done. So if you've wondered why it changed, that's why I've changed it. Um quick quick update about the farm. Um as you've probably all seen in the in the, uh, the news um, England, uh, well, the United Kingdom has been deluged by rain. We live in the north of Lincolnshire and we've had so much downpour of rain. It's We've had inches and inches. Fields are now rivers. Um, the, all the ditches are bursting the banks. The, you know, everything's overflowing. We've We've got places flooding that has never flooded before. Um, it's it's just heartbreaking. We've still got next year's crop to put in. Um, it doesn't look like it's going to get in now. It's it's yeah. What what can I say? And it's heartbreaking. People have been flooded out their homes, lost all their possessions. You know, my thoughts just go out to all those people. It's it's not nice it's 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 awful and a lot of them um were flooded out in 2007 as well so thoughts just go out to them um saw the weather forecast today it doesn't seem to be um shifting there's another uh, front coming over that's going to drop 35 millimeters of rain um, another one bit later on that's going to drop another 15 on top of what we've already got I just can't cope with it it's just yeah not good at all um, I know it's nature what can we do but it's it's heartbreaking for everybody um, people that have got livestock um, <laughs> yes Bracken um, yeah it's just my thoughts just go out to everybody oh look Bracken's come to say hello say hello <laughs> go down there that's a good girl good girl that's a good girl um, had a, a nice day um, and the 3rd of November was Bracken go down go down Go, go get your con there. There's good girl. Um, sit down. Sorry. I knew it was a mistake having her in here. Um, yes, I, um, 3rd of November was my son's youngest son's birthday. So we had a lovely day. Um, Dan and his partner Sophie came down for the day. So that was really nice. Had a lovely time. Um, last week my mother-in-law and father-in-law took me out because um, I don't go out very far I can't, can't walk far and so just don't go out on my own um, so they took me out um, Christmas shopping so that was really nice um, it, it was yeah, I was shattered by the end of the day, but it was lovely. We had a really nice meal um, in a lovely pub. Uh, it was just just nice to get out, so that was good. Um, yeah, very good. So, 
what have I been doing? Um, I should have made, I tried to make a video last week. Um, and, well, you know what it's like. You plan these things and then just something else turns up. Um, I tried to do my video yesterday and then I didn't get get it done. And then, of course, by four o'clock it starts getting dark. Um, so I, I abandoned it until today. So hopefully we'll get it done today. So, right. Um, where are we? We'll get on. Um... Bracken, go on your bed, darling. Go on your be bed. There's a good girl. That's it. You stay there. Right. My Merrily Merrily. Oh, where have I put it? There we go. Oh, can you see it because of the window? Merrily Merrily by Blackbird Designs. Can you see it? A bit of a glare, isn't there? There we go. Um, I'll put a picture up here. Now, I can't remember if I took took a picture of all my projects before I started working on them again. Um, but if I did, I'll put a picture up here. Bracken, sit down, darling. Oh, fighting the dog now. Oh, God. Um... So, there we go, that's, and we've got quite far now, I've actually managed to, managed to finish all the alphabets, and the, uh, oh god, I'm showing it backwards, sorry, oh, well I'm not starting again, here we go. Right, there we go. We'll try again. Here we go. Right. We've done all the black... Oh, oh God, that's really jiffled me. Um, we've done all the alphabets and all the um, rows underneath. So I'm pleased to have finished all those. Um, this bit... This bit, I, en I enjoyed doing this bit. That was nice. It's just a bit different, it was. And I've now just started, last night, I just started the first motif. Um, so I'm just started, just started this bit here. So hopefully, I've placed it in the right place um, because if I haven't that will jigger everything else up but I'm sure I have it's the first sampler I've ever stitched um, the first time I've really stitched on linen um, but I really enjoy really enjoy stitching on the linen it's um, the linens picture this plus um, Oh, I've got a loose thread there. Oh, it's the back. Picture this plus oakum, 40 count. Um, stitching it one over one with Wee Eye Works, um, Colour Works and Gentle Arts. I like this bottom bit with the, with the little birds. I think they're quite cute. So, really enjoying stitching, really enjoying stitching this. This is really nice. Um, I never thought I'd, I'd be able to see linen um, because my eyesight's not very good at all. Um, but I use my reading glasses and I use my magnifying glass and uh, I can see it, no problem. So, yeah, really enjoy doing that. Um hang on sorry the dog had pushed her kong underneath the settee and she just lays there with her nose stuck underneath it whining so sort, sorted her out so 
yeah so this is merrily merrily we welcome spring by blackbird designs so really nice so i'm just going to carry on doing the motifs um i i've been going left to right instead of going by page uh i've actually been going left to right so um I'll probably carry on doing that to be quite honest um, you know doing each motif wanna that one then that one and that one um, we all work in different ways don't we so so there we go um, and I'm going to fold it how Brenda and the serial starter has said um, I remember watching one of their episodes and she was saying how people don't fold their um their projects right with fold it with the the project on the outside so i've i'm making sure that i fold it with the 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 right side inside if you get what i mean yeah right come on out with darling good girl um my next project, I'll take it out, um, be easier for you to see. Um, the next one is um, Donna Gell Singer, it's Deer Creek, I'll find you the picture. I did have it yesterday but I've got it now. Uh, Deer Creek by Donna Gell Singer, it's a Hayd. Oh, are you able to... Can you see that? It's a bit glary, I'm sorry. But you get the gist of it. Mm, cover me up. Um, this is done on um, Lugana 25 count. Um, one over one with DMC and a bit of Krennic. Um, and last week, um, not last week, last video, whichever, I think it's two and a half weeks ago, um, I'll put a picture up here, if I've got a picture, like I say, I can't remember if I took them, but if I've got a picture, I'll put it up for you as to where I was, um, but I had... I had, um, I was finished, uh, just fold that so it's easier. I was finishing off this part page. So I finished that off and I've started, started the next, next page along. I'm about halfway. Um, so I'm going... Normally I would go from left to right, uh, but I I just went underneath the page that I was already on. So it's coming along. We're getting there slowly. I think I'm on page. Um, there's forty nine pages, and I think I'm on page 29 I think so only 20 more pages left better close up it's really hard when you're behind something to see whether you you can see it because I can't see through this so I hope you can see it so if it's a bit skew whiffed and you're not seeing it shout there we go and this was the first time that I'd ever um, uh, sewed on anything less than 14 count. Um, I've been sewing, I used to do some cross stitch when I was quite younger. And then life gets in the way and you, you have children and you have work and you never seem to have time to do the things you want to do. Um, and then I picked 
picked one up again oh a few years ago i can remember it was two it was lovely it was two horses um plowing the field and that was on 14 count um but i never did finish that i think i went wrong in the middle somewhere and just lost interest um and then all the other ones i've done i've always been on 14 count so this this was the first time that i've ever stitched on anything smaller small account um but it's funny how your eyes adjust to it so we'll do one more look there we go There we go. So I'm going to finish. My plans for this one is to finish, finish this part page. And then I think I'll just carry on going this way, to be quite honest, because I think there'll be less confetti than going back to, to this one. Um, these, oh dear, they're so full of confetti. They take ages. Um, a normal page, uh, a normal size page on one of these um, takes about a month. Sometimes I can do it in three weeks if there's not so much confetti. But if you've got, uh, if you've got a lot of, um, a lot of confetti, um, like in these bits and the, and the pine cone, uh, the pine needles, yeah. It's a bit, uh, a bit time consuming and you've got to have a lot of patience, but there we go. So that's that one. Um, now, I haven't got any haul yet, but the Rosewood Manor Autumn Quakers, which is this one. I've actually ordered the fabric and some of the threads. Um, the fabric is picture this plus Cashel 28 count Dublin, which I've managed to find. Um, now it calls for the Valdini threads and I have had an awful problem getting hold of Valdini threads. Um, all, all the websites yeah there's loads of websites sell it but then you find out that they're american websites and it just cost a fortune to send it um found some on etsy i thought yeah brilliant um they were about four pound um a ball which which is fine it's a bit bit expensive and then you go look and it's like 20 pound to send a four pound ball of wool from america so um i stopped looking for a while but the other day i had another look and i looked on a uh, patchwork rabbit um that's where i found my fabric and i managed to find the valdini threads um now i'd looked on there before but I've been looking for it to say Valdini threads um, and it wasn't there. And then I just happened to look, it, it was saying um, three thread, six thread. Well, I know DMC is six thread. Um, and then I happened to click on three thread. Well, of course, Valdini is three thread. thread. Um, and I found it. I thought, you dipstick, honestly, why didn't I think of that before? Um, anyway, never mind. Um, so I've got most of the threads. Uh, I think there was four that was out of stock. Um, so I'm hoping that they'll be here sometime this week. I ordered it last week, but they were they must have gone on holiday because the site was shut until the 10th so hopefully it may be here this week 
um because i've seen so many people doing this and it looks so nice and i used to always just you know sew on my dear creek my hay my heaven and earth um and it does get a bit stalling when you're in the confetti and I always said that I would never do more than one project at once but I can understand now why people have more than one he um, project um, you, you just need a change and that's my excuse for um, kitting, kitting this one up um, so yeah I don't think my husband will agree and he does watch these videos as well um, but keeps me quiet gives me something to do um, so that's that um, my knitting um, I said last week I was knitting my granddaughter a dress um, I haven't got much further on, I've done the, done the back I've done the back um, it's all tangled let's see the back um, so that's all finished and I had started the I had started the front many times <laughs> If you recall from last time, I kept going wrong. Um, it, it's one of those patterns that you've got to do whilst um, whilst it's nice and quiet. Um, I, I have got I've got a little booklet that I've written out, um, sort of. Um, uh, you can see. I've written out my sort of once you get to a certain stage, um, I've I've jotted down what I need to do, um, which is fine. But then when the telly's on and there's somebody about, so I had I don't know whether I got further than where I am now, and then I went wrong, um, and I should uh, there should be nine stitches in this little lace panel. And I ended up with eight. Well, trying to take, when you've got things like yarn forward and everything, undoing a pattern like this, well, I'm, I'm just not good enough to be able to do that. So I, I ended up taking this apart, starting again, and I'm back to there. Um, but it's a, it's a nice, pretty little um pattern so i started again and i will get there i have done i've done the little sleeves it's a little um short sleeved dress so i've done i've done two sleeves so i did do something um so i just all i need now to do is finish the front and then it just needs sewing up um, so uh, I'll just show you quickly what it's gonna look like it's from uh, the Sirdar uh, Sirdar patterns and it's this dress and then I'm going to do that cardigan as well so um, there we go need to do it I need to almost do that when I'm awake during the night because um, I don't sleep very well and I'm quite often up most of the night on my own so really need to do that when when I'm on my own um, so that's about all of my projects um, don't think of anything else to tell you really um told you about my instagram didn't i i'll put my instagram um on down here for you to see 
Um, the dog's now gone to sleep. She's now settled down. <laughs> it's difficult, isn't it? She settles down right when I'm finished. So, um, I shall carry on. My plans are to just carry on. Um, keep going on everything I've got. Um, what else have I got planned to do? Nothing really. Um... I do wish that I lived in America. I love all your LNSs. We we just don't seem to have anything like that in this country. Or if we do, I've I've not heard of it. Um, yes, we do have sewing shops, but nothing that's on the scale of the attic, sassy jacks acorn and threads um i would so love to come and well a day wouldn't be enough to look round. i don't think um you all are so 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 lucky to have places like that um the only real places we can get uh patterns is on the internet and it's 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 like the threads Yes, I can order them, but if I could just look at them and feel them and see the the colours, um, it would it would be lovely. But maybe one day, one day, um, one day I'll get. Um, so anyway, right. Thank you for watching. Um, if you could like and if you've liked the the video please like and please subscribe um i'll see you all next week bye